Welcome everyone. So what we are going to do is we are going to install Unity with ML Agents Release 8. So I'm going to walk you through what, what you're going to need is um, the following. First of all it's Anaconda. So we're going to anaconda.org, download Anaconda, and go for download and we'll bring it down here. Um, choose your operating system. Um, I have installed Anaconda already, but most likely you know, if you're on Windows, you're going to um, go and get this guy here. Uh, once you have that, you should be able to open a um, Anaconda prompt like this. Anaconda prompt should show up already like that. Okay, great. Let's go on to this. So first things first, we're going to create a new environment for um, for our Unity ML Agents Release 8. You're typing in Anaconda, create minus n, the name of the environment, ML Agents R8, for example, and then Python equals to 3.7. Um, why is that? I will explain you in a second. Hit enter. Asks you a bunch of questions, you type a Y and hit enter again. It's basically asking you if you want to install all of these um, packages here, libraries. Copy this command and paste it. Press enter. And you can see that we are now um, we have now activated the ML Agents R8 environment. Perfect. Okay, so far so good. So the next step is we are going to ML Agents github repository so just type ml agents and the first github link should be should be fine okay great so this is the main repository um, of ml agents if you're scrolling down a bit you have the explanation um, and also different releases um, how I said we're gonna work with release 8 um, you can check out the documentations uh, for release 8 and if you want to follow a more text-based kind of tutorial um, I don't think it's um, easy to follow if you have never installed um, this before but if you prefer to go here and check it out please do so um, so as I told you we just installed a new environment in Anaconda with Python 3.7 that's what we need here that's fantastic Great. Um, so, yeah, as I said, if you prefer to go through this, please, I will also put the link down in the description. Um, I'm just going back here to the main um, repository. Perfect, because I wanted to actually do this a bit different or download this a bit differently. So on the right side, you can see releases. Uh, so we're going to go there. And you will see a list of all releases of ML agents, the previous ones and so on and so forth. Why is that important? because you can actually um, figure out what has changed between releases but since I'm assuming you are fresh to ML agents um, this is probably not of interest for you. Um, in any case this is the release we're looking into um, and we basically can download it here. So I'll just download it. Perfect. Going into the downloads folder, um, extracting this here for a moment. Yeah, perfect. This is the folder. Great. So I'm copying this. Copy. Just to, for convenience, for you to see better. Let's create a folder uh, for our test projects for ML agents. So under dev in my specific case. I'm just creating a new folder. I can just new folder ML um, agents um, R8. That's what I call it. Test project. Fantastic. Okay, pasting it in here. Perfect. Okay, so in this folder, um, you will also have a couple of. Um, Example projects, but I'll show you later. Yep, they're all here. Perfect. This seems fine um, Sorry, um, and here is the 
package we have to install actually later. Oh good, perfect. Great, so this is our project folder. I can all keep this open. I'd actually delete this stuff here, I don't need it anymore. Great. So the next part um, is to install Unity, of course. So how do we do this? We can go to Unity Help Download, for example. Yes, perfect. <coughs> um, excuse me, and go to the first kind of entry in Google. Download Hub, perfect. You download Unity Hub. Um, uh, again, I've done this already. It's pretty straightforward um, to install. So open this up. Perfect, here we are. Um, so yeah, so basically what you will have here, this, uh, this is the projects I'm working on, and then you have your installations. So basically um, you can download different um, installations and each will have different features. So if you click on add, ah sorry, maybe I should mention this before, I'm logged in already, as you can see here, so you might need to go back to Unity and create an account and then log into um, um, this kind of uh, uh, dashboard here, um, again with whatever you, you've chosen in terms of um, account and password. Um, then you can click Add and you will find a list of different releases. I would always stick with uh, either one of those. Pre-releases are kind of um, in testing phase or whatever, so I wouldn't mess around with it. Um, in this specific case, I'm just going to go for Unity 2020.1.10 F1. I don't have it yet. So, for those of you who do not have Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019, I highly recommend to install it. Um, so, you would just um, click this guy here and then continue. I don't think we need anything else. WebGL support, that's cool. Um, if you want a different language, I guess you could choose that. So this is being installed. All right, this has been successfully installed. So let's create a project. So go to projects, new project. Um, where do I want to have that? In my typical dev folder. Um, we created our project folder actually already. Um, ML agents are a test project. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's completely fine. I think that's how I want this. Um, ML agents are a. Okay. Great. Right, here we go. Perfect. Um, Unity is opened up. Um, so yeah, the next thing we need to do is go to Command Windows and Package Manager. I know I have been downloading um, or installing the ML Agents package straight from um, Unity, the, I think registry I would, I would call it, um, but um, this time I want to um, install it from local because if you go back to the documentation you can you go back to the ML Agents release 8 um, and you can see that we need the version 1.50 and I don't think we can install that from the registry so if for example um, I type this in here ML agents yeah, it was already there actually ML, ML agents if you see we can only download uh, 1.0.5 but we need 1.5 in order for this to work. This is really important, right? So you cannot just install it straight from the, the registry. We rather have to go for add package from disk. We have to go into our project where we, I also pasted the release 8 download. Um, we need to go in here and then come Unity ML Agents package. And we need to click on package.json and press open. And this will install it. Just wait for a second. Um, for this to install. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let me just check. If I turn off in project, I can see already 
5.0 is well installed, currently installed, great. So next thing we will be bringing in some examples from Unity. So we're going into our projects folder, bring this over here. Here's our release, project, assets, ML agents, examples, perfect. So I can just bring in this entire ML agents folder like this. Perfect, so now it's in our folder. Great, um, I'm going opening this directory and for example, um, we go for the push block example, scenes, open the push block example and this looks already good. So um, just for you to sh see this, uh, I want to disable those areas quickly, you can do the same. So we only have one area left. Um, click on our agent. There's already a neural network attached, so I can probably just press play to see if this is working. Great, okay, looks good. Um, perfect, so the last thing, um, which is quite crucial, you need to no, if you want to train this little guy by yourself now, we need to go back to our Anaconda prompt. If you've closed it by now, just open it back up like this, Anaconda prompt. Um, activate your um, Conda environment like this. And then you need to install the ML agents um, library into your environment. How to do that? We can check that out in our um, release documents, so scrolling down, but I'll copy your, uh, I'll copy for you the uh, command also in the info box down below, installation, okay, um, so yeah, so here they tell you you can also install from local, because if you check out your projects folder releases, you could basically just install from these two folders, your libraries, but we don't change anything in there at the moment. If you want to do that, you should follow these steps um, described here. But um, uh, in our case, we're just gonna use um, ML agents um, as it is, and this is how we can install it. We are taking this command. and we can copy and paste it and install just like this should be working i've actually just tried it with um conda um install but it didn't work so we have to use pip3 um if you have problems with pip3 you might need to install it um but how to do that is also here in the documentation i believe if we go back and change the window um Yes, they actually um, let you know, or they already warn you, kind of, of, that this could be the case. So here are instructions on how to do that, but I won't include this in the video. Um, great, so this seems to be installed. Um, maybe I just can use their link. Um, pretty much we just need the command to initiate a learning so I will also paste this for you in the info box so I'll just copy this um, probably need to modify it so I'll just bring it into the notepad for a moment is this now installed okay tensor probability I won't care about these errors at the moment. I hope we're not running into trouble later, but let's see. Um, so what we need to do is we need to kind of configure this for our own, our own purpose. So you go back into your um, projects folder um, and go to config and then PPO and then our folder would be called push block. Okay, great. Just copy this over. 
we keep all of these things PPO. That's the algorithm you're going to use. And then dash dash run dash id equals to um, my push block training or whatever you, you might call it. Perfect. Okay, great. I can copy this over. We are going into Unity and we are reactivating all the other areas. I can just run our training command again. Start training by pressing play. I will do that. Keep this open. Okay, great. Here we actually are already. This took 60 seconds. Um, in 60,000 steps, our mean reward is 1.3.2 and the uh, standard deviation of rewards is at 2.7.6 basically meaning how far away is the min and max of the rewards um, gained Okay, so by hitting Control and C I can abort this training um, and go back into our um, folder and as you can see in the ML agents release 8 folder under results you can find first of all the data of the training but also a new neural network new neural network sorry <laughs> um, called push block okay so I can just minimize this for a second maybe rename it even I'm just gonna call it my push block so is there, there's no interference with anything else under TF models there's already an existing one, uh, or probably trained by Unity. So I can just drag this in here as well. Perfect. So now I can disable all of the other areas. And I can place my newly trained neural network into the model. Um, great. And to be exact, I probably would now have to change this to in inference because I want this agent to use my trained neural network but I think it might even pick that up by itself if I'm not using any command from the anaconda prompt okay so let's check that out it's probably the behavior is not uh, gonna be great because it trained just for 60,000 steps um, yeah as you can see I probably gets it done but yeah it's not not that great cool but this means you pretty much um, trained your first ML agents model, your first neural network. Um, perfect. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.